Welcome to part two of our Land Rover Defender camper van 4x4 Isle of Skye ultimate adventure. <laughs> in part one we went swimming in the ferry pools and we built our first camp at Glen Brittle and we left it at me ready to drive for the first time. Let's do it. And now it's the first time I'm going to drive and actually where do we put the key? Oh there. <laughs> there we go. Okay. And you turn the key the other way around, right? So how do I? Do it. There we go. And this is the handbrake, yeah? Yep. Okay, I see. Yeah, so basically Gert was saying that this car doesn't really break very easily, obviously because it's so heavy. It weighs about 12, to, uh, 12, 3 tons. <laughs> Oh my god. Alright everybody, here I am. So we're about an hour into the drive. <laughs> I hope you can actually hear me properly. <laughs> um, <laughs> we're about an hour into the drive. So far so good. I'm having the best time. I think this is my new hobby and we called our little Land Rover Sandy Slandy. <laughs> And there's a chicken on the road, like literally. I have to say, I feel quite powerful driving this car, uh, which is great, right? So now we are actually, I don't know if I told you already, on our way to Naist, Naist, however you pronounce it, Lighthouse. And afterwards, we're going to go to our next campsite. And that's it. Woo! Sandy Slandy on the road. <laughs> I feel incredibly proud and accomplished for having done this drive one hour into the Scottish um, countryside and a little bit in the middle of nowhere. I love it. We're now going to go and have a look at the lighthouse. And I do have to say, obviously, the roads that I was driving, they weren't easy to drive <laughs> because basically um, you kind of have these passing places. Excuse me, I'm vlogging here. <laughs> <laughs> you kind of have these passing places uh, where you obviously... Excuse me? <laughs> I thought it was Gurge behind me, but it's actually a sheep. What I'm trying to say is you have these passing places, which means that obviously um, it's a single lane road. So you always have to wait for people and then maneuvering this heavy car. It's not easy, so I feel incredibly proud, have to say. And now, yeah, let's go and have a look at the lighthouse. So this is the kind of place that on a stormy day would be impossible to stand on. <laughs> but today there is no wind. In fact, if you see my hair, it's not really flowing that much. It's a very, very soft breeze. And what that means is all you can hear some flapping birds over there and a very soft wave of the ocean. And that is it. And it leaves you enough time to take a deep breath and to really enjoy these majestic black rocks or cliffs and it really does take your breath away. So, little update. Hello. Hello. <laughs> we have driven about an hour and we are about to arrive at our second home for the night, which is called Kinloch Campsite. Let's see how it compares to the first one. I mean, I'm talking like I know a lot of campsites. <laughs> But I'll show you around obviously a little bit and this one we've actually booked this time. So uh, yeah, let's have a look. Yeah, I'm just going here. Wow, there's a food stand. Oh my god, look, there's a food stand. Everyone looking out for car like look at that. Man, that one. <laughs> Everyone looking at it. It's actually with numbers to be fair. Yeah, that's what I think. They're probably going to tell like, oh, oh look, here it is. Do you okay, jump yeah, in? I'm going to jump in and ask them. All right, I got it. That was super easy. Um, they have already got a plan for us and our spot is 31, which is down there. Perfect. It's a little bit in the woods, she said, but it should be fine. Here we go, all worked out. <laughs> And just like that, we are built. How long would you say it takes to build the whole car overall? Probably 
took us about 15 minutes now. Yeah, 10, 15 minutes. On a good day. I want to say 10 minutes if you're experienced, right? Probably about six or seven. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably six or seven. We've got our cooking gear ready here. And uh, yeah, today we're going to be a bit faster so that hopefully we can have a beer or so and enjoy the view-ish <laughs> before it gets dark and so that we don't have to eat in the dark. So I've started cooking, Gert is over there getting his stuff together. And um, <laughs> obviously yeah, today is our second night only camping. Yeah, so we're no experts, as I said, but I have to say for the fact that it's our second night, we've already kind of improved. We're way more organized. Um, we know what we're going to do tomorrow, we know when we're going to get up, how we're going to pack everything down. <laughs> so I feel like the more often you camp, the easier it gets for sure. And uh, oh, what are we eating tonight? Pasta again. Because <laughs> we just feel like that's the easiest thing to do. So we've got two stoves on the go, one with water and one with the pasta sauce. And we've got some olives and some spinach to chuck in as well. And uh, the most important thing. Right, for those who have not been to the Isle of Skye or camped, there's a thing called midges and they are so annoying <laughs> and they bite you everywhere. <laughs> not so me. So you've got to wear this thing unceremoniously <laughs> around your head <laughs> and basically hang yourself here um, because they are wild. <laughs> the only problem with this is that you can't really drink your beer. <laughs> So it's, it's, snooker, it's weird because um, even yesterday they were all saying, oh, be careful, they might bite you. But I don't actually, I didn't get any bites. I think I just don't have very tasty blood, which um, sounds really horrible, but actually in the end it's quite good. But you know, I think you can pull it off, you know? I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, until you gotta drink your beer like this. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> 10 to 10. <laughs> <laughs> so as you guys can see, there's enough space here for one, two people. I've just squeezed my pillow and Gert has put his basically everywhere, but there's really space for two people. <laughs> After a restful sleep, here we are making our way to the east coast of the island to visit the Old Man of Store. It's an impressive and mystical rock formation that is not to be missed whilst on the island. We were very excited. Alright, <laughs> I hope that this is focused on me. <laughs> Unfortunately, there's lots of midges around here as well, but we've got our nets, <laughs> so that's fine. And um, yeah, so far it's been a super steep climb. Um, you actually can't see it, but it has been only uphill for the last 20 minutes. I did not expect that, <laughs> but I will give you an update once we're there. Woo. There's a midgey on the lens. Get away. <laughs> okay, first of all, do not, under any circumstances, underestimate this hike, man. That's what I'm saying. It's only about 45 minutes, but it's completely steep the entire time. On another day, I'm sure this would take our breath away, but I do have to be honest with you, it's very, very close to it. Despite the midgey nets, despite the crazy clouds and fog, it's a thing not to miss 100% but we're gonna go and head back down now before the midges are gonna eat us alive <laughs> and then we are driving back to Inverness to swap over the car and then we're gonna stay at Loch Ness for two nights so let's do this legend has it that this structure here on the left is the thumb of an old giant buried under the rocks and this is why I love Scotland exactly for these type of mystical stories we had a great time do come here if you go and in part two we are swapping our old defender for this new sexy model and we're trying to find Nessie and much more so I hope you are coming along <laughs> 